at the mosque in the holy city. Thousands went to Cooper's Hill, Runnymede, for the unveiling of the Air Force's memorial. First, the Queen inspected the Royal Air Force Guard of Honour. Then the official invitation to Her Majesty to perform the ceremony was made by the Duke of Gloucester. I have the honour, as President of the Imperial War Graves Commission, to invite Your Majesty to unveil this memorial. After the unveiling, the Queen addressed the large gathering. It is very fitting that those who rest in nameless graves should be remembered in this place. For it was in these fields of Runnymede, seven centuries ago, that our forefathers first planted a seed of liberty, which helped to spread across the earth the conviction that man should be free and not enslaved. And when the life of this belief was threatened by the iron hand of tyranny, their successors came forward without hesitation to fight and, if it was demanded of them, to die for its salvation. Receiving a silver key from the architect, Mr. Edward Morph, Her Majesty unlocked the door to the cloister. The airmen and women whose names are commemorated here came from all parts of Britain and the other countries of Commonwealth and Empire. They number over 20,000. Later, as relatives entered to pay their tributes, the final words of the Queen's speech were certainly in their thoughts. For wherever and for as long as freedom flourishes on the earth, the men and women who possess it will thank them and will say that they did not die in vain. That is their true and everlasting memorial. <laughs>